Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the third installment of Lorenzo's Lessons of Space. It's been a while since the second episode, I've been traveling a lot, been to Sweden to look for a PhD and meet some friends there, also I've been to Germany to try and sell a house there. Unfortunately that did not work and it will soon be up for auction. Uh, here's a picture of that house, if it looks at all interesting to you, pop it down into the comments and I'll send you the details of the auction so you can buy it, it's really a wonderful house. So, onwards to today's lesson of space. What we'll be doing today is exploring what zero gravity is, and more accurately what it's not. Um, first we should start with defining what we mean by zero gravity, because maybe it was obvious to you already, it is not the absence of gravity that we're trying to describe. What we're describing when we say zero gravity is the state of floating. When we see an astronaut um, flying to the moon, or maybe uh, in current times, uh, doing an interview on the ISS, the International Space Station, they appear to be floating through their space station. If they drop a pen, it will float around. If they spray some liquid, it will go in those little globular bubbles that will just float around into in the air, as if there was no gravity. Now they say, as if there was no gravity. And I've got my uh, favorite space game here, the Kerbal Space Program. I put a little space station in orbit, and it appears to be in zero gravity. If you look at the G meter here on the nav ball on the bottom of the screen, it reads nicely as zero. And we can grab a Kerbal, this one named Calberry, and we can pop him on EVA, which means extravehicular activity. And here he is, the little astronaut. And there he goes, floating off to the side of the space station. And it does look as if he's, he's floating away, but he's not falling. There doesn't appear to be any gravity. So if we pop on his jetpack now, and then he can fly himself around. We can push him away a little bit from the space station, get some distance going. There's the planet, Kerbin, our home, and we're orbiting that now. And we can use our jetpack to gently move around, but we're not we're not falling towards the planet. We're staying nice nicely next to the to the space station, quite contrary to what would happen if we were to do this on an airplane uh, going through the air. We'd most decidedly fall down. Or if you were to step, step out of a helicopter, you fall down. Or even off a diving board, you most of the time you fall down. Here in space though, you just stay right next to it. And any motion you have to do with rockets or jetpack thrusters. So, this is what we mean by zero gravity. But what is it in fact? Now I can tell you r straight off, it is not the absence of gravity. And before I continue, let's put this guy back inside and there he is next to his buddies Bob and Greg King Kerman. So, we've established in previous videos that uh, to be in orbit you need to be going fairly fast. And if we look at the speed here, we see the space station is now going at right about 745 meters per second, which is fairly quickly. And now if there was no gravity, nothing else than this speed affecting this, uh, this, this aircraft, this spacecraft, we would expect it to go in a straight line. If we look at our map view, however, we see that the line is not straight. It is a, an an, it's an ellipse. It's not a circle. It's not perfectly circular. It's uh, an ellipse. And this, this goes around the planet Kerbin because there is gravity. It is under the influence of gravity. It keeps pulling it around and around. So, we've established it. Uh, while, they, while the astronauts are experiencing zero gravity, they are certainly in a gravity field. And in fact, gravity is infinite in the way that it falls off with distance. If you move away from the source of the gravity, it becomes less, but it does so exponentially. This means that if you go twice the distance, gravity falls off by a factor of four. However, this also means that no matter how far you go, the gravity experience will be a non-zero amount. So if you move away a galaxy, if you move a galaxy away, you will still feel a non-zero amount of gravity. It will be a very, very small amount. You wouldn't even notice it, but in theory, one atom on the other side of the galaxy, on the other side of the universe even, is exerting a little bit of gravity on you. So there's never no gravity. Keep that in mind. Never no gravity. So this brings us back to the question, what then is zero gravity? Why are these astronauts floating and not falling? A uh, second thought you may have, well, you think maybe maybe it's to do with acceleration. Because uh, if there is acceleration, if you're in a car and you press the gas, you, you're pulled into your seat. You feel that acceleration. 
and one thing we can clearly see is that when these astronauts are outside the space station there appears to be no acceleration uh, only if we apply a rocket thrust like so is there some acceleration so is this floaty thinking is, are these astronauts floating because of the lack of acceleration well the answer is yes and no the answer is not that there is no acceleration because the speed of the spacecraft is definitely changing if we observe the orbital speed it's now it used to be 745 it's now up to 753 and slowly climbing and why is this if we go back to the map view you can see that the orbit is not circular it is actually the spacecraft is now falling down towards the planet and if we accelerate time a little bit let's try 50 times we can see that the, the zero g station as i called it is actually moving towards the planet and if you recall uh, the orbital mechanics video I did this means that while the altitude is decreasing the speed is increasing and as it reaches its lowest point then the process will reverse it will go higher 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 again but it will go slower and this will continue for all eternity so the speed is increasing and decreasing which is acceleration and deceleration so that is in fact happening and now why is it also a question of yes there is no acceleration uh, um, sorry now what does it make zero gravity there so th we've established there is gravity we've established that there is acceleration and yet this is some kind of acceleration that you don't feel if you're next to the spacecraft again I'll pop the the little man out and we can put him out oh, go out we can put him next to the uh, to the spacecraft so now he's accelerating relative to the planet he's accelerating he's going down as well if we go into the map view and accelerate time a little bit look we're well it's slowly floating away but sure as hell not fast enough to be accounting for uh, the acceleration of the thing because it's way faster now it's it's uh, hundreds of meters of seconds faster if we just go back into the spacecraft we can get the the speedo dial back so we are accelerating but we're doing so at an exactly similar rate as the spacecraft around us and that's really the key to zero gravity because there is not there is gravity there is acceleration it's just applied completely uniformly every um, every bit every uh, bit of spacecraft every bit of yourself in fact is affected equally by the gravity field of the planet so while there is acceleration you do not feel this acceleration because it's applied to you all bits of you equally and uh, all bits of the spacecraft around you so as far as you're concerned there is no acceleration there is no gravity so it appears to be zero gravity well of course this is not completely accurate it does describe if you're locked in a can perfectly described your sensation of zero gravity um, as a sidebar um, you may now are you may now be wondering you know, why do we feel this uh, gravity when we're standing on the ground at home because he also on the surface here the the gravity of earth is attracting every bit of you equally as hard when well, you feel this because the ground is in the way and the ground is actually keeping you from falling so uh, whilst you're being accelerated downward your feet they experience resistance and they uh, this resistance is only applied to your feet and through the structure of your body this translates uh, upward and you feel this as weight as as gravity well in actual fact you do not feel gravity you feel the resistance of the floor and this is also why you feel acceleration in a car uh, car acceleration or rocket acceleration is not uniform it is applied only by the engine which uh, transfers it to the wheel or the rocket which only pushes on the, pushes on the nozzle it doesn't push on any of the other bits of the car, of the rocket, or of you. This all happens through the seat. And then it only pushes on the back of you, which you then feel as the acceleration is being shoved forward. So while the uh, acceleration, by definition, is the same uh, as an increase, it's measurable as an increase of speed, it's a distinct difference whether you accelerate through an engine, through, through a rocket, or through a car, or through gravity. Acceleration by gravity, as a rule, you cannot really feel it because it happens to every bit of you equally and uh, smart listeners among you I know you're out there you may now wonder well if this gravity falls off with distance uh, what you've been saying 
that the gravity affects every bit of you equally is not in fact true because one bit of you will be closer to the source of the gravity than another bit and that's totally correct except on a human scale it's not noticeable not by us at any rate because the uh, we are actually as humans are quite small so as far as our senses are concerned they're calibrated not to uh, feel these tiny tiny changes in gravi uh, gravitational force we just cannot detect it but if you're a space station, if you're fairly heavy, fairly large, or even a satellite, you uh, will experience the differences in gravity. For example, this antenna dish here is now closer to the planet than the engine. And while it's only a difference of, well, maybe 10 or 20 meters, that is significant. And in fact, in real life, some satellites have used this uh, gravity gradient, as it's called, to stabilize their, uh, their position. And they use this by distributing the weight along the uh, axis that it that they uh, project through the gravity field so that the uh, bit closer to the planet experiences more gravity than the bit further away and this tends to stabilize the satellite while it's moving through the gravity field that's pretty nifty I think so I hope you've got a little bit of an understanding of how zero gravity comes about and also what it's not that it's not the actual absence of gravity it's just that an acceleration due to gravity is very hard to feel because it uh, happens to everything in you and around you uh, almost completely equally. So it appears as if there is no gravity, while well, most certainly there is. Anyway, this was Lorenzo's Lessons of Space, episode number three. I hope you'll uh, eagerly await the next one. Uh, it's been a while since the last one, but since I've only got one subscriber yet, I don't think you all got, uh, you don't got any credit to be mad at me. If you want the right to complain, subscribe, and then you can complain all the way. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.